This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Don Brennan, along with Don Scalzi. And uh, what a way to start. I walked out the door this morning, and it was beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. A little chill in the air. Believe it or not, yeah. it's May, and it was chilly. Yeah, I know. A spring. It actually feels like spring. It does. Like that it's low done. humidity, I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, it could be... I'm one of those guys, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. It's, it I is. really do I believe agree that. Yeah. My hair <laughs> definitely do. agrees, too. Yeah. Uh, dew points right now are in the 40s and 50s. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. It really feels great. And that will be the case right straight through the next couple of days. I think we'll start to see a slow increase in temperature, but the humidity won't come back full tilt boogie till next week. So enjoy daytime highs in the upper 70s, only a few fair weather clouds, no rain in the forecast, and a nice gentle breeze out of the north. Complete forecast details in a minute. Thank you, John. Taking a look at Suncoast traffic, starting your weekend off in good stead, hopefully, and everything seems to be moving along without a problem. You see volume is building up on State Road 64 there as you approach downtown Bradenton either way. But uh, no issues or delays there, and everything seems to have been cleared from 75. There were a couple of issues earlier this morning, but they will not affect you as they are right now. And moving down into Sarasota and South Sarasota County, everything is moving along. Now, topping our news this morning, the road to Rio is winding through the Sun Coast. Some Olympic hopefuls are competing for the next few days in Sarasota and in Bradenton. ABC 7's Ray Collins has the details on the pentathlon World Cup final. Marie Otiza of France is a big fan of Sarasota. This is her second time competing in the pentathlon here, and she's glad to be back, though it's nothing like France. It's really, really different here. <laughs> here, this is like paradise, really. That's holidays all the time, and that's really awesome to, to do a competition here. Marie is one of 76 athletes here from around the world. Nations like Japan, China, Kazakhstan, and Poland. They'll compete in five different sports within the pentathlon the next few days. Fencing was underway on Thursday at the Potter Park YMCA. Other sections include swimming, riding, shooting, and running. The Ringling Museum of Art Courtyard was a picturesque backdrop for Thursday evening's opening ceremonies, led by former Suncoast Congressperson Catherine Harris, who brought along three other current members of Congress, including California's Daryl Issa. We had a warm welcome in, in Sarasota, and we so appreciate the hospitality in your fine town, and, and especially Catherine. Thank you so much. And Harris reminded the audience this is not just about boosting Sarasota, it's also serious business for these athletes who are hoping to qualify for the upcoming Olympics. This is their road to Rio. We wish them all great success. And Marie hopes she has great success as well, so she winds up in Rio this August. Uh, I hope I will go to the Olympic, but finger crossed. There are five American athletes taking part in the events which go on through Sunday at the Potter Park YMCA and also Benderson Park. In the newsroom, Ray Collins, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Now, Big Brother is watching, at least in the form of the city of Venice. The city is using a GPS system to keep better tabs on its public works department. The new system, run by Verizon, was installed in January and attracts public works vehicles like garbage trucks, and it also tracks the speed of the vehicles to ensure that they're being driven appropriately. City officials say it is a helpful tool when they receive complaints from the public about poor driving safety. These trucks, as massive as they are, they're a lot louder than, let's say, a pickup. And some people hear them and think they're going fast when they're not. We can uh, identify any particular truck and we can look at how it was driven uh, on any given time within the last 30 days. Venice has 250 vehicles. Only 50 have the GPS system right now, but more could be coming later this year, and it's about $18 a month per vehicle, the cost for the city. And to a follow-up on the deadly home invasion we reported yesterday, sheriff's detectives say they now believe the Bradenton home was definitely targeted. It happened late Wednesday at a home on 64th Avenue East. When sheriff's deputies arrived, they found 27-year-old Emmanuel Johnson and 38-year-old Alan Perkins in the driveway suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Detectives say Johnson was among the four or five suspects who had stormed into the home with guns demanding money from the three people inside. Gunfire was exchanged and the suspects fled. Johnson later died and Perkins is now recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. 
injuries. No arrests have been made as this investigation continues. Well, a case of sus suspected vandalism has caused the city of Bradenton to shut down the Riverwalk splash pad. Due to damage, the city says the splash pad will be closed for the next week to prevent further damage and allow time for necessary repairs there. The earliest the splash pad is expected to reopen is May 13th. And the death of an endangered gopher tortoise during a recent prescribed burn is raising questions about how Manatee County staff handles its land management. A couple found the tortoise one day after a 16-acre burn at Robinson Preserve. Now, staff says they were surprised to see the turtle in the area. A survey of the land before and after the burn revealed no tortoise bureaus, and county officials say the property's high water table makes for a difficult habitat for the tortoises. Gopher tortoises are classified as threatened, uh, threatened species by Florida Fish and Wildlife. Where the tortoise was found was just really not good gopher tortoise habitat, and that's a good clue to us as land managers that it most likely was not um, native to that particular site that wasn't where it was from. You wouldn't want anything to, to die or even die that way, you know, especially. The couple who took the photo filed a complaint with the FWC, but the investigation was closed once county officials explained their preparations and reasoning for Monday's prescribed burn. In Sarasota County, tube dudes are out in full force on St. Armand's. Tube dude owner Scott Gerber and other business owners are trying to deter people they say are driving recklessly and speeding, including the 200 daily dump trucks carrying sand for the beach renourishment project on Longboat Key. Police say they haven't come across any problems as of yet. We hear them beeping their horns, warning people to get out of the crosswalk, uh, jake breaking, whatever they can. Uh, and it's just, it just got to the point where enough was enough. My officers maintain a, a close vigilance on this, and we're not seeing really any violations. We have written no citations so far uh, to any of the truck drivers. And the project involving the dump trucks is expected to last through July, and I know Chief Cummings says he's been watching it carefully. Well, major developments are on the way for Manatee County. According to the Herald Tribune, the Manatee County Commission has approved a developer to nearly double the amount of homes planned for development in East Manatee County. Medallion Homes has now been approved to build up to 1,400 homes in the Heritage Harbor area. This area is east of the interstate and north of State Road 64 near Upper Manatee River Road. And the homes could vary from single-family homes to complexes and assisted living facilities. Medallion is also planning on developing retail space in the area. Meanwhile, a lawsuit aimed at preventing a new housing development in downtown Bradenton has been dismissed by a judge. A group of residents filed the suit last year to keep Glacier Gates Park from being moved to make way for an apartment complex on Manatee Avenue West. Attorneys re representing this group say that the city would violate its comprehensive plan by developing that complex, but according to the Bradenton Herald, a senior circuit judge has ruled that the exchange of land between the city and the developer was in fact lawful. Developers will now begin on the project in the coming weeks, but say there will be a new park on the waterfront as well. Glacier Gates Park will be relocated to Riverside Drive West. Also in Mantee County, the Mantee Performing Arts Center has closed on a deal to bring more parking to the area. Under the $2.5 million deal, the center will purchase land across the street to make space for nearly 250 more parking spots with lighting. The parking lot will replace a vacant apartment building and four duplexes. Demolition of the apartment building is expected to begin in the next six weeks, and the center is looking at using the duplexes to house interns in the future. Once the new lot is open, the parking lot to the east of the center will be open to the public. In Sarasota, changes to regulations for food trucks will take a little longer to put in place. According to the Herald Tribune, last night the Sarasota County Planning Commission supported eliminating some of the current restrictions on food trucks, but they called for a delay in making any decisions. The changes would give food trucks more space to operate and change requirements for permits. And the board agreed that rewrites will be needed for the ordinance. A formal decision on the changes will be made at the next available hearing which will be in August. And I know a lot of the food mm -hmm. trucks are, you know, they come through here with, you know, for the Suncoast yeah. view and we get to meet a lot of the people. So I 
wish them well, yeah. obviously. I know a lot of people in the community definitely want mm -hmm. to have food trucks <laughs> in the area, so hopefully that gets passed through. Well, just a few days after the Ringling Brothers Circus Elephants perform their last show in Providence, Rhode Island, they'll begin their retirement, but first with a big celebration. Yeah, Feld Entertainment is holding a homecoming event for the elephants today at their Center for Elephant Conservation in Polk County. 20 elephants will parade into the center and will gather around a welcome home buffet filled with all their favorite treats. They'll now become the focus of conservation and cancer research. Very interesting, the cancer research awesome. specifically. So looking forward to that. And they're going to enjoy some time in, in Polk County, but it's not quite the same as Hawaii, which yes. we're going to talk about now. Mm. It's that time of the morning when we tell you all about our Good Morning Suncoast Hawaiian Vacay Giveaway. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Can you just feel, if you step outside right now and listen to this music, you'll feel like you're in Hawaii. Just about. Right? Just about. Just Similar need a weather. waterfall. Exactly. Just need a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> well, in order to get there, at least get a chance to get there, you have to enter today's word of the day, and it's island on our web page at mysuncoast.com, our contest page actually, on mysuncoast.com, that word is island. So make sure to get that in by midnight tonight to get your chance to win. That grand prize is three nights in Honolulu on Waikiki Beach and six nights in Maui. There's also a daily prize, a $100 gift card to the Mall University Town Center that we'll be giving away every day to someone that enters. So make sure to get it in. Island is the word of the day. Sounds and it's awesome. every day. Every, every single day. Every day. You don't enter just once. You've got to enter every day. Every day. For your best Friday. odds of winning. And a different word of the day every day. It's true. That's, That's why right. we say it, the word of the day, right? Not the word of the week or yeah. the word of the month. That you got to watch because you don't know when we're going to tell you. So. That's right. There it is. We don't mince words. <laughs> <laughs> and like you said earlier, it feels like Hawaii out there. Right? Oh, my goodness, does it ever. It's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and we will detail that forecast for you in a second. And also still ahead, from homeless to celebrity now, Donald Gold, well, he became an internet sensation for his musical skills. We'll let you know where he is now and how his life has changed over the last year. Stay with us. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Port Florida Home by Florida workers because we know Florida weather. Right now, buy two windows, get the third free, plus our lifetime warranty. New South Window, we manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Call now. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. That's Chuck, proud homeowner, regular do-it-yourselfer. Today he's attempting an electrical repair. This is Pablo. He's an electrician with Mr. Sparky. How's he doing, Pablo? Terrible, Mike. Yeah. What Chuck doesn't realize is that almost 68,000 home fires are caused every year by electrical problems. What? If he doesn't have the proper tools and training, he's liable to start the next one. There's a little help here! That's what I'm talking about. Call 888-8-SPARKY. You uh, might want to write that number down. <laughs> Did you know? You can make an instant harness by simply wrapping the leash around your dog's chest and up through their collar? Contact Canine Corral today about a no-pull harness that will make you smile. Canine Corral, where the love is. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. And a soul of flooring. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified and service calls are free and services.com and services.com 
All this month, ABC7 is giving you the chance to win a dream vacation for two to Hawaii. Start your day with Good Morning Suncoast every weekday to look for our vacay word of the day. Then register that day's word by midnight at mysuncoast.com. Each weekday, we'll give one daily winner a $100 gift card to the mall at University Town Center. And one lucky grand prize winner will enjoy a nine-day trip for two to Honolulu and Maui in Hawaii. Enter for your chance to win a Hawaiian vacay giveaway. Start your day with Good Morning Suncoast. ABC7's Pump Patrol, a list of the Suncoast's cheapest gas on mysuncoast.com. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. And so with dew points in the uh, very comfortable 40s, we have an air temperature of 62 that feels just exquisite out there. Uh, a lot of blue sky uh, coming your way today and lots of sunshine as well. Northeast wind comes in at about 6. We'll see that wind shift a little northwest and be breezy this afternoon. It'll be a delightful day, no doubt about it. Temperatures across the region, 59 now in Wachula, 61 degrees in Arcadia, 61 Mayaca, 62 Northport, Punta Gorda, 66 in Inglewood, 66 in Venice, 60 Parish, 61 in Bradenton, and 66 degrees at Longbow Key. I'll bet you you can take 5 degrees off that tomorrow morning for low temperatures. Across the region, nothing in the way of any radar echoes locally. The Florida Straits has a few scattered showers down there from an old boundary that came through yesterday. Another front that brought us some more delightfully dry weather and kept our radar clean this morning. No radar echoes locally anticipated today or really probably for the next seven days. We have a couple of areas of low pressure on the eastern seaboard. One exiting the country, the other just kind of spinning in place going nowhere. The same thing holds true back to the west where another one is just kind of spinning around. In between the two, a big ridge of high pressure and that brings us clear skies across most of the center part of the nation and in the Florida Peninsula. This little low pressure area just not going anywhere in the upstream low pressure area also locked in place by this high pressure ridge. This is a weather pattern that doesn't move, and today we will benefit from that by seeing another wonderful afternoon. Maybe even a little bit more um, pleasant, I guess, as humidity is a little bit lower today because of that front that came through yesterday. Winds out of the northwest will be breezy once again this afternoon, but not quite as breezy as it was yesterday. Certainly our small craft advisories, the uh, high surf advisories, the uh, rip current advisories, have been rescinded for today. The high pressure ridge will eventually work its way onto the Atlantic and twist our winds around to a kind of a warming wind, which will slowly bring our humidity back. But that's not happening today. No, or tomorrow either. We're looking for nice weather that continues right into Mother's Day, I think. Temperatures across the region stay mild, and we have this wind out of the northwest that provides us with sunny skies, low humidity, breezy afternoon conditions. And then a slightly warmer weekend as this atmosphere begins to modify just a little bit under the influence of a fairly strong and higher sun angle currently. We have a lot of dry air indicated here by these tan contours on the water vapor imagery. That's locked in place over the state. It's going to eliminate the chance of any rain showers for us into the weekend. A little bit of fair weather cloudiness out in Gulf waters. Even had a sprinkle out there in the Gulf last evening as that front came through. Northwest wind at 15 We'll bring you a moderate chop with three to five foot seas. They've subsided a bit over the last 24 hours. A 656 low tide, a high tide at 1217, and another low tide this evening at 816. The official Suncoast forecast calls for continued fair weather, but warming as we head into next week. Back to you. Thanks, John. Taking a look at your commute right now at 618. It looks like Manatee County roadways are moving along nicely. I'm not seeing any slowdowns at this point in the morning. Everything is clear now on the interstate. All green in both directions. Palmetto bridges still look good. As far as State Road 70, it's just slightly going slow as you head west, approaching 301 at this point. But no accidents to report. Sarasota looks good as far as our major arteries at the 75 and 41. The interstate's still clear there. Even into South County, I'm not seeing any issues. No slowdowns, no accidents. So it's just as nice as our weather so far. Hopefully we can keep that up. 
So we have a nice start to the weekend. And the snowbird season, well, it may be officially over that really busy season with all the events, but it's still a busy place here in Sarasota and Manatee. You have a lot you can do. Yes, definitely not as busy as it was right before sure. Easter. And ABC 7's Linda Carson has the Suncoast scene. The Olympic finals for the modern pentathlon are on the Suncoast this weekend. This is the World Cup final. So these are the top 36 men and women that have qualified after all the World Cups throughout the year, all over the world. Cairo, Rome, Budapest, Rio de Janeiro. Those who win here go on to the Olympics. On Friday morning, we'll begin here at the YMCA with fencing and swimming at the YMCA Evelyn, Evelyn Sadler Jones location. In the afternoon, you'll see equitation, a fencing exhibition, as well as running and the shooting of the laser pistol. Then Saturday is the men's finals. And then on Sunday, there's a mixed relay of both men and women competing as teams. And then That's Sunday the evening time. are the closing That's ceremonies. Boys, here I am. The one you're waiting for. One taste of me. Also a new show at the Oslo. The curtain goes up on Josephine here at the Oslo this weekend, and it will continue through May 29th. Then it's on its way to Broadway. So make sure you see it here, because this is a show everybody's going to be talking about. Deborah Cox plays Josephine Baker. This woman is sort of an, an unsung hero. She's been one of those women who has been fearless and brave in the sense that she took on the, um, the fight of humanity and civil rights and went to a whole other country and, and took it on upon herself to, um, to fight for freedom. It was her enormous talent that won Josephine international acclaim. She was a dancer and she self-taught um, and singer self-taught as well and basically became this incredible force on stage, um, a woman who um, was very engaging uh, with her audience and just had a charisma that no one else had. And on Bradenton's Riverwalk Saturday, the Pickin' Picnic. We'll have live music, craft beer, and food trucks. It goes from 2 to 10 p.m. There'll be six different bands. It's a really big melting pot of fun. You can have food, there's beer, you can enjoy time with your family, and there's just so much music to enjoy. It's going to be a really fun time. Or on Saturday morning, you might want to head out to Siesta Key for the 44th annual Siesta Key Amateur Sand Sculpting Competition. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Wow. Thank you, Linda. I was impressed by those sand sculptures. Yeah, they're, they're no amateurs. Mine would definitely not look like that. <laughs> Impressive. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast. If you have old Nintendo games stored away, you may want to dig them back up. We'll show you just how much one recently Ooh. sold for coming up. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nanny's has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Oh, I see great fortune in your future, David. It's Brian. I see houses, boats, cars, millions of dollars. And you will marry a beautiful, exotic fortune teller. Yeah, I'm gonna go. With the $10 million fortune scratch-off game from the Florida Lottery, the odds of a brighter future are better than ever. The Florida Lottery, just imagine. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. Call right now to get your free Senior Care Compass eBook. Find out about the five best kept secrets on financing senior care and assisted living. Call now, 800-290-0352. 800-290-0352. You can check on them. You can worry about them. You can even choose a car for them. Honey, are you okay? I'm okay. 
Love. We're okay. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Keep them safe. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Granny Nannies, we've been making house calls for over 25 years. When you need home health care services, there really is no place like home. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Welcome back at 625 and attention window users. The free upgrade for Windows 10 is now coming to an end. So now you're going to pay for it? Yeah, if it's not free any longer. It means you got to pay for it. ABC's <laughs> <laughs> hey, Diane Macedo and Kenneth Gibson have this morning's Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bytes, Microsoft has a warning for those who haven't yet upgraded to Windows 10. Yeah, the company's free software upgrade will expire on July 29th. After that, users will be charged $119 for a copy of Windows 10 Home. Netflix wants to help users manage their smartphone data. The video streaming service has just rolled out new cellular data controls, which offer users several options from Wi-Fi only to unlimited data. The new feature is available for both iOS and Android devices. And an amazing find for a man in Texas. He purchased some original Nintendo games for $80 at a yard sale. What he didn't realize was one of those games was stadium events. It's very rare. He bought it for $2 and just sold it for $75. $500. Not a bad payday for him. Not at all. Well, those are your tech bites. Have a great day. Feel like this. Look like this. Feel like this. With DreamWalk insoles, turn shoes that can be a pain into comfortable ones. Their soft cushioning support means you can look like this and feel like this. DreamWalk. Wish your skin could bounce back like it used to? Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. With hyaluronic acid, it plumps skin cells with intense hydration and locks it in for supple, hydrated skin. Hydro Boost from Neutrogena. At Pureleaf, we know that the best things in life are real. So we wouldn't use anything other than real, fresh picked tea leaves. Brewed the way you make it at home. Pureleaf. A delicious, real leaf brewed iced tea. We love iced tea the way you love iced tea. Pure and simple. Pure Leaf for the love of leaves. The all new MySunCoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. Join us this Saturday night at 7 for the House to Home Show, featuring some of the finest homes for sale right here on the Sun Coast. Whatever your taste, you're certain to find properties that satisfy your particular buying preference. Your dream home may be just a phone call away. The House to Home Show presented by SWC Properties right here on ABC7. If you'd like to see your home featured on the House to Home Show, contact one of our agents at SWC today. On Animal Outtakes, every week, it's a new animal adventure. From meeting curious lemurs to feeding big cats and hosing down rhinos, there's never a dull moment. And sometimes these amazing animals chime in. Tune in to Animal Outtakes to find out what they have to say. Watch Animal Outtakes this weekend on ABC7. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. 
So call US Med today and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results. Or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Did you hear? All Children's Hospital is now Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. <laughs> There's a lot to a name. Especially when that name is a world leader in healthcare. We still deliver the same compassion we've provided for 90 years. Plus the excellence you expect from Johns Hopkins. Together we can conquer the biggest challenges. And offer your child the very best care. When, when it, it comes, comes to kids, choose Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, the Florida, Supre the Florida Supreme Court is debating about the death penalty that have been issued to 400 inmates on death row. Plus, SpaceX does it again. The company beats its own odds of yet another successful rocket landing. And an update on the piano man who became famous after being discovered on the streets of Sarasota. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi. And uh, yeah, Donald Gould, just amazing. Really His great. transformation and what he's been through. And uh, it's a great story that Bo Beth will have for you coming up. Yeah, looking what, forward to it. What great character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, nice weather shaping up for us today. Low relative humidity, a lot of sunshine. Temperatures will be mild. And winds will be breezy, but not as strong as yesterday. Daytime highs in the upper 70s. No rain in the forecast. An exquisite afternoon. We'll have the complete forecast details in a minute. Thank you, Don. Take a look at traffic at 631 this morning. Everything is uh, picking up now, a little bit more volume than there has been, but everything is looking good and moving along. Earlier issues have been cleared away at this point in Manatee County on 75, but uh, now 75 is moving along as are 301 and 41 all the way down into Sarasota County and South County as well. Well, topping our news this half hour, the Florida Supreme Court heard arguments in a case that has already led to an overhaul of the state's death penalty sentencing system, and it could still have implications for the nearly 400 inmates awaiting execution in Florida. And lawyers for Timothy Lee Hurst argue his sentence should be reduced to life in prison without parole. This comes after the U.S. Supreme Court found Florida's death penalty sentencing system unconstitutional because... It gives too much power to judges and not enough to juries. The state legislature passed changes to the system earlier this year, and prosecutors argued that the court should consider the impact of the U.S. Supreme Court ruling on a case-by-case -case basis. And Florida's new law establishing a 24-hour waiting period for abortion is also heading to the state Supreme Court. Justices will decide whether the law is constitutional. The waiting period was passed by the state legislature and signed into law by Governor Scott last year. Now, the Florida Supreme Court already decided last month to block the law while it considered whether to take up the challenge filed by a Gainesville abortion clinic. They have now voted 5-2 to two to review that challenge. Meanwhile, Governor Scott is looking to help more Florida students get meaningful jobs when they graduate. That will be his focus during the Degrees to Jobs Summit that he'll host later this month. Business leaders and education officials will meet to discuss how they can better prepare students for high-skill, high-wage jobs. The summit will be held at Universal Studios on May 25th and 26th. FSU head football coach Jimbo Fisher Florida head football coach Jim McElwain and University of Miami head football coach Mark Richt will participate in a panel on leadership and team building. Speaking of team building, two high school softball teams from here on the Sun Coast are heading to the state final four. The teams from Bayshore High and Braden River High are two of the top four in the state. They'll be playing in the semifinals today. Both will be competing. 
uh, in Vero Beach, Dodger Town, the old Dodger Town. Lady Bruins will take on Glen St. Mary Baker County Wildcats at 845 this morning. Braden River Pirates will go up against the Gainesville High School at 135. If both of them win, they'll play for a state championship tomorrow. Look, good luck to them. Yeah, definitely. I'm impressed how far they've gotten. Also impressive, SpaceX. They've done it again for the second month in a row. The aerospace company landed a rocket on an ocean platform. A live web broadcast showed the first stage booster touched down vertically early this morning on a barge just off the Florida coast. Because of the high altitude of the mission, SpaceX did not expect a successful landing. Now, the company wants to start reusing its unmanned Falcon rockets as early as this summer to save money and lower costs. The same thing occurred April 8th during a space station supply run for NASA. Well, next month marks one year since homeless man, piano man Donald Gold got off the streets. Gold's transformation began with a viral video of him playing a piano on Main Street in downtown Sarasota. And this ABC7 special assignment, Bo Beth Yates has an update on what Gould's been up to over the past few months. From sleeping on the streets to having his music heard around the world, Donald Gould has made a complete 180, and now that transformation continues. Don, yeah. why don't we take it from here? The man with the magic fingers is now taking his musical talents to the next level. He's recording an album. That's a take. To understand the full scope of this accomplishment, you must go back to June 2015. This was Donald Gould then, a scruffy homeless man that had been on the streets for years. Gould, who's a classically trained pianist, sat down at one of the pianos placed on the sidewalk as part of the Arts and Cultural Alliance Sarasota Keys Piano Project and began playing. Passerby recorded him and placed the video on the internet, and the rest is history. Kind of surreal, you know. You know, two months prior to that, I was this homeless guy on the streets, and next thing you know, I'm in a national spotlight, world spotlight. Gould became a YouTube sensation. He was then featured on the TV show Inside Edition. He says that attention gave him the motivation he needed to turn his life around, and he admitted himself into rehab. Two months into the rehab process, Gould was offered an opportunity to play the national anthem in front of 75,000 people for the San Francisco 49ers season opener. While I'm actually up there performing, yeah, I'm nervous as a long-tailed cat, but I'm, at the same time, I'm working on concentrating on playing the national anthem, you know, with, with very few mistakes. Gould says that process was hard because there were so many distractions. While I'm performing, there's a crowd noise and there's fireworks going off and I've got earbuds in my ears, but I can't, I couldn't hear a thing what I was playing while I was actually playing it at the time. So I'm just hitting the keys on the keyboard and hoping for the best. And his best is what the crowd got because that opportunity opened yet another door. As a result of me playing in San Francisco, this record producer gets a hold of Jacqueline and next thing you know I got a, a recording contract. Jacqueline Bevan is a life coach and she's been helping Ghoul maneuver through all of the changes and she says it isn't just his musical career that has blossomed. Just watching him going through everyday things and learning to live all over again and making new friends and, and doing positive things and just having a normal life. We're just so proud of him. He's, he's just grown so much. It's amazing. Gould now has his own place and is continuing the recovery process, which he says is a daily battle and the reason he regularly attends AA meetings. But Bevan says during the past year, Gould has also done a lot to encourage others, including volunteering at the Senior Friendship Center. It was his way to give back and to do something for the community that, um, you know, because we know that the community helped lift him up through the GoFund and everything else. Gould has had difficulties as well. In the past year, he struggled with the stress of being homeless to suddenly being a star. He suffered a heart attack and had a stent put in, and his leg was broken when he was hit by a car. Despite the challenges, Donald's work to continue on the right path seems to be paying off because opportunities keep knocking at his door. We've been featured in Japan. He did a show called Tokadoga. Uh, for Japanese television. He had the pleasure of being on the radio with uh, Ted Williams, the Golden Voice. We've done a lot of like uh, organizational events and stuff like that where he's you know been able to like kind of assimilate into the community. 
but I'm just lucky and blessed that, you know, these opportunities somehow, seems like out of the blue, are just coming my way. And now it's like, um, I guess like when the rubber hits the road, I gotta make the right decision. The first single on the album, Come Sail Away, will be released later this month. The complete album will be released later this year. Bo Beth Yates, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Bobeth. It's such an incredible story. It shows that you can have a second chance. And yes. you have so something special to give to the world. And to his credit, he seized the opportunity yeah. and has made something of it, despite the fact of well, a heart attack All and a broken leg. And, oh, my Not goodness. Not how you, it's how you get up, right? nope. Yeah, good That's for him. Great. Good for him. Love that story. And I guess a little helping hand can really make a difference in a person's life, you know? You never know. Yeah. Pay it forward. That's right. Nice weather for you this day. We'll talk about the forecast coming up for today and the weekend coming up in a second. On the next Black Almanac. If it's presidential primary time, it's a given significant part of the political discourse will involve dissing black voters, asserting they don't understand the issues at stake and who their real political friends are, or are ineffective in using their voting power. Nothing, however, could be further from the truth. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford because Sarasota Ford guarantees you our lowest price on every new Ford every day. Save on America's best-selling truck, 39 years running, the Ford F-150. Fusions, Escapes, over 800 vehicles on-site or online, all on sale. Buy with 0% for 60 months. And now, get up to 2,000 trade assistance. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Madame and Monsieur, the 1939 Folly Bisher is proud to present the legendary, the incomparable Josephine Becker. I'm a sorrow. What else could I be? So get in line and wait your turn, Monsieur. If the devil was a girl, she'd be jealous how the fellas want me. She's too. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Nice weather shaping up for us. We have a temperature currently of 62 degrees with a dew point of 44, making it feel so very comfortable outside. Northeast wind comes in at about 6. We'll see that wind speed kind of picking up as we head into the afternoon. We get a little bit of a surge probably out of the northwest. 59 degrees in Wachula. Mayaka the same in the 50s. How about that? For this time of year, that's pretty nice. 60 degrees in Arcadia, 61 in Northport, 65 in Inglewood, and in Venice, 60 Lakewood Ranch, 59 degrees in Parish 2, and Bradenton comes in at 60. So a beautiful start to what will end up being a beautiful day. Now these temperatures, they're cool, but I think tomorrow morning will be cooler still. We had that front move through. It's producing some rain showers down along the Florida Straits, but nothing over our area. Our area is going to be clean of any radar echoes through the day today, probably for the next couple of days. Certainly the weekend will be dry. 
We uh, watch areas of disturbed weather in the mid-Atlantic, an area of low pressure spinning there. One also in the northeast, kind of moving away from the United States. One back to the west, producing some snow showers, actually, in the Rockies, and also a lot of cold rains there as well. And in between the two, a lot of clear skies, stretching from actually the western Great Lakes all the way down to the northern Gulf Coast and into the state of Florida. That's a big ridge of high pressure, was a Canadian high, but aloft a big ridge of high pressure and two low pressure areas on either side. Slow moving weather pattern like that. It's called a blocking system. Doesn't allow anything to move one way or another. It's just a, like, a, like a big rock in the middle of the stream. It diverts the water and doesn't allow for much to change until that rock is removed. That rock comes in the form of that high pressure ridge and it'll eventually work its way out into the Atlantic. But it's going to take several days to do that. So in the meantime, winds come in out of the northwest. And that's a dry wind for us as the air was originally of Canadian origin. So dry, cool wind blowing out of the north. It'll be beautiful today. That uh, dry wind will continue again for the next several days, though with the sun working on this atmosphere, it will slowly heat up over the next several days by a couple of degrees each day. The frontal boundary itself will be no player, particularly in our weather anymore. Sunny with low humidity, breezy northeast wind, and then slightly warmer by a few degrees over the weekend each day until we get to about 85 degrees by the beginning of next work week, and then we'll hold there through the week. Maybe some upper 80s in inland areas. Dry weather with this tan contour, this tan colorization that you see here on the water vapor imagery. That's dry air, a signal of dry air at mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. That's going to remove any rain chance today. A few fair weather clouds out in the Gulf, but that's it. Otherwise, a lovely day with a northwest wind at about 15. Not quite as windy as yesterday, but still breezy out there. A moderate chop anticipated this afternoon. And the official Suncoast forecast has lovely weather today. Cool, crisp night tonight. And then as we head into next week, we start to see the temperatures and the humidity come back. Back to you. Thank you, John. Taking a look at your commute right now at 646. It looks like out of Palmetto, the bridges are still moving along at this point. No slowdowns there as far as 41 and 301. That's also looking good. The interstate is nice and clear. No accidents to report even to, into Sarasota. 41 looks good. So do the arteries out to 75. I'm not seeing any slowdowns or delays into South County either at this point. The interstate is clear and so is 41. Well, in health news, when it comes to treating depression, a new study is showing that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy can be an effective alternative. It can also be a supplement to commonly prescribed antidepressants. And ABC7's Alex Redmond has the story. 37-year-old Jesse Kugo says he suffers from depression. Well, I suffer from depression. I, I have for a long time. I was actually diagnosed as bipolar in 2001. Kugo's treatment included antidepressants. I have, there have been times in my life that I've taken medication. There have also been times that I haven't, that I've utilized other outlets. Antidepressants have for years been the standard in treating depression, says Dr. Heather Capello. It's an overwhelming problem. Um, people look for a pill in order to solve most of their everyday life problems, so it's a significant issue. Feeling down is a familiar feeling for Sarasota resident Mark Flanagan. Depression, throughout, you know, throughout, on and off throughout my entire life. Flanagan says the most important thing for him is exercise. Uh, being, uh, being active on a day-to-day -day basis. It's, it's, it's really, what it really is, is my uh, medication when it gets right down to it. And Kugo says yoga and writing poetry help him combat his depression. And that was kind of my lifesaver. I felt like by being able to, to get this negative energy out of me, this, this, this dark emotion out of me, that, that saved my life. So I didn't, have, I didn't have to take medication. Mindfulness has long been known to have a positive benefit to mental health, and now there's research to back it up. But it's the mind, instead of going all over the place and being distracted with the craziness and the stress of our lives, you are mindful of where you are, how you feel, what you're thinking. According to research published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, the brain can respond to mindfulness as well as it does to antidepressant drugs. A pill is a quick fix. Redirecting your thought process is a, life, is a lifelong change. 
For a link to the Sarasota Mindfulness Institute, just go to mysuncoast.com and click on health. Reporting in Sarasota, Alex Redmond, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Now, medical errors at hospitals are a growing problem. You may remember years ago there was a hospital with three in a row that they operated on the wrong limb or on the wrong patient, but new research suggests that the problem is bigger than we realize. Researchers at John, Johns Hopkins say that medical mistakes could be much more common than we thought. Looking at data from four previous studies on this issue, the researchers recalculated how often errors lead to the deaths of patients. And they estimate more than 250,000 deaths were linked to medical errors in 2013. That's more than double the commonly cited figure of around 100,000 deaths. In entertainment news, six popular video games are now a part of the World Video Game Hall of Fame. Some of those names include The Oregon Trail, Grand Theft Auto, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the classic Space Invaders. The games are recognized as a major influence on the video gaming industry and society. The Strong Museum in, uh, the, the Strong Museum in Rochester, New York, opened the hall in 2015 to honor all types of electronic games. Last year, the first inductees were the Super Mario Brothers and Pong. And I just found out Rebecca's a big gamer. Not really, <laughs> but I told my dad to not sell that Nintendo. Okay, well, Channing Tatum is bringing his Magic Mike act to Sin City. The actor has announced he's directing Magic Mike Live Las Vegas. It's billed as a live male strip rev Rev review. review. Thank you so much. Based on the <laughs> movie Magic Mike and a sequel, Tatum starred as the title character in the films, but he says he won't be taking the stage for this live show. Magic Mike Live Las Vegas is scheduled to begin previews at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in March of 2017. See, I thought that word was saying something else. I was getting confused. I understand. I think people was... are going to be bummed that he's not going to be in the show. Uh, I think most women probably will be yeah. bummed, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of eye candy for them there. <laughs> That's true. Still, I had a good morning, Sun Coast. High schoolers are putting their fame to good use. We'll show you who they are and who they're helping out coming up. Gas prices are on the rise again, so before you fill up, go to mysuncoast.com for a list of the Sun Coast's cheapest gas. ABC7's Pump Patrol. Just another way we're here for you. Live on stage, Florida Studio Theater will present the play Alabama Story. And our city will begin discussions. On race. On equality. On civil rights. The most important conversation of our time. Will, will you, you join, join us? us? All this month, ABC7 is giving you the chance to win a dream vacation for two to Hawaii. Start your day with Good Morning Sun Coast every weekday to look for our vacay word of the day. Then register that day's word by midnight at mysuncoast.com. Each weekday, we'll give one daily winner a $100 gift card to the mall at University Town Center. And one lucky grand prize winner will enjoy a nine-day trip for two to Honolulu and Maui in Hawaii. Enter for your chance to win a Hawaiian vacay giveaway. Start your day with Good Morning Sun Coast. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. If you or a loved one suffered serious complications, call IVC Filter Helpline now. You may be entitled to compensation. IVC filters are designed to prevent blood clots. If your IVC filter moved or broke and you suffered heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or if a loved one died as a result, call IVC Filter Helpline today. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You'll pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. Call today for a free confidential consultation. Don't fight this alone. Call IVC Filter Helpline now. Please call 800-897-6764. That is 800-897-6764. The spring clearance event is going on now, and the prices are hotter than ever. At Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota, drive America's hottest SUV, a new Jeep Cherokee, for just $19,999. Lease a new Compass for just $1.99 a month. With no tricks, no gimmicks, just $7.99 total due at signing. Or buy a new 2000 Jeep Patriot for just $15,799. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Did you hear? All Children's Hospital is now Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. <laughs> There's a lot to a name. Especially when that name is a world leader in healthcare. 
We still deliver the same compassion we've provided for 90 years. Plus the excellence you expect from Johns Hopkins. Together we can conquer the biggest challenges. And offer your child the very best care. When, when it, it comes, comes to kids, choose Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. It is 6.54 and here's what you need to know before you head out the door this Friday morning. Athletes from around the world are here on the Sun Coast in hopes of making a berth on the Olympic team. They're competing in the Pentathlon World Cup Finals. Suspected vandalism at downtown Bradenton's Riverwalk splash pad is causing the city to close it down to make repairs. No one has been charged with the crime. And after decades of performances, Feld Entertainment officially retires its elephants with a big party today at a sanctuary where the elephants will live out their final day. And as far as your commute this morning, so far I'm not seeing any major slowdowns. Typical volume picking up on 301 and um, State Road 70, but the interstate is clear and so is 41 at this point. Sarasota looks good. A lot of volume there on the downtown area of 41 in North Sarasota. And as far as South County, I'm not seeing any slowdowns or any accidents to report. Lots of sunshine for you today. Daytime highs top out mild in the upper 70s. There's little chance of rainfall through the next couple of days. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful weekend as well. Mother's Day looks good with daytime highs topping out in the mid 80s, but still relatively low humidity. All right, it's more than summer vacation looming that has one entire high school singing and dancing. Every student at Avon High School in Indiana got involved in another lip syncing production. More than 1,200 students from every team, every club, and even the teachers got involved in the mashup of 58 songs. Singing along to the likes of Katy Perry, Austin B, or Justin Bieber, Adam Lambert, and it was all done on zero dollars. They captured by a student and his camera on a chair. There are some cameos too from the Indiana Pacers NBA team. It was part of the school's effort to raise over fifteen thousand dollars for pediatric and prenatal care. That uh, looks like a lot of. That was actually wow. filmed really well. It looks like a little like high school musical. I know. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It's in the show. Really fun. I love Use that. A little office chair as a dolly. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Good idea. Yeah. Stick around. Good Morning America is next. Have a great weekend. Yeah. We'll see you Monday. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah.